How do judges learn who's guilty and who's not? By trial and error. Let's uh, do one more review of uh, our video. Bill Bird today is our guest and I am a Russian man who learns English through my own experiences, through comedians, through music, through books and different tools. But today we're gonna learn something about white guilt. Maybe it is about N words. Uh, I don't know, but let's do this together. Cuckoo's Clan, are you ready? Let's open our subtitles. And uh, maybe I will comprehend uh, this video, maybe not, but I will speak about this video in the end of my video. Let's start. I don't know. I rented that movie uh, Pride recently. Have you guys seen that movie? Anybody see that? It's about the first all-black swim team and the difficulties they had to go through being the first all-black swim team. Let me ask you a question. How many of those white people are evil movies are they going to make? <laughs> it's like it's all the way down to swimming. You know, I'm starting to run out of white guilt, you know? No, it's like those movies, they started off unbelievable. Started off with roots, right? White guilt was at an all-time high. I could barely even watch it. I'm like, dude, I got it. My ancestors are evil, okay? Please, please turn the channel, dude. Please turn the channel. They still hitting them? Fuck, turn the channel. This is gonna be on all week? Jesus Christ, turn the channel. Then in the 80s, there was like a football movie. Then like Cuba Gooding wanted to be like a scuba diver. Remember that shit? And now it's all the way down to swimming. And I gotta admit, I don't think I give a fuck. You know? I understood that uh, he doesn't give a fuck, but uh, I didn't understand the first. I, I didn't understand the first joke about uh, TV that, yes, it was swimming, uh, swimming on TVs, on movie and uh, about people who was black, who was uh, black comment and white comment of uh, swimmers and uh, why does uh, white people has why does uh, white people have guilt? I, why do white people have guilt? I didn't understand, okay? I'm not trying to be a dick but it's a recreational activity <laughs> Plus, I've been in pools, there's been black people in the pool, you know? I never saw any white guy, like, trying to, like, fucking, like, prevent people from getting into the pool. <laughs> it's like, are they just, like, making this shit up? I'm not, I'm not being a dick here, either, okay? Just to clarify, you know, I just don't want anybody coming up to me after the show, like, you know, I was thinking it, and then you fucking said it, and then... I'm not saying that I don't think black shit people should be allowed put on some speedos and go for a dip. I'm not saying that shit. I'm just saying these movies, like the characters aren't even believable. Like they always have to have like that, the, the over the top uninhibited white racist character, you know? You know that guy, he's a guy like, uh, he's supposed to represent all the white evil, you know? He's like the dude they always have like screaming during the movie trailer. They'd be like, they were the first all black swim team. Get out of the pool! <laughs> Got like a big vein in his forehead. Oh, I, I understood this joke. Maybe he said like a all black team said like we will be first, we will be champions. And uh, after that somebody get out of here. It means that uh, to create more, um, uh, to create less compet competitors. Yes? And just scream and shit. <laughs> like big vein in his forehead, big vein on forehead, oh Jesus. Look, not even looking around, you know? Dude, it's ridiculous. Real racism is quiet. It's subtle. People look around first. To make sure that, you know, to make sure the coast is clear. There's disclaimer. I understood about the real racist, uh, racism. It is when you are trying to be secretive and so you will look around to do something. By the way, I'm Russian, I can prove it. Я могу говорить по-русски, I said I can speak Russian. Yes. It's like, dude, you know I'm not racist, but... And for me, understanding jokes, it is so hard. But uh, these insert group name followed by fucked up conversation, right? <laughs> That's how it goes down. It's not just some guy just standing up there. There's Negroes in the pool! Do you approve of this? I work at the bank. Can I be fired immediately, please? 
I'm just saying, can you just make the shit, like, believable? You know what the honest thing is in those movies? They're starting to give me a complex. You know, because anytime they do a movie about a group of people that thinks dumb shit about another group of people, it's always like white dudes. So it's like, are white dudes the only ones who think ignorant shit about other people, you know? No Mexican guy ever... What is ignorant? Ignorant. Ignorant means not good? Yes. Ignorant. Lacking knowledge or awareness in general. Uneducated or unsuffocated. This Australia was impudent naive and ignorant of the ways of the world okay it means that uh, ignorant and unintelligent untaught rude empty-headed okay walked up to somebody from india like dude what the fuck is that is that like itchy is that fuck you what is it white dudes the only ones walking around why you guys don't eat cows what are you a bunch of fags <laughs> Then why are you wearing sandals? This guy's wearing sandals! This guy's a fag! <laughs> nice joke. It is a really nice joke. I understood it correctly <laughs> that white people look... Sorry! I have... By the way, on my channel I have 5% of Indonesian, else uh, we have 40% of American, uh, maybe 5% of United Kingdom, 3 of Canadian, and another from uh, Mexico, from uh, Viva Mexico Cabronas, by the way, and uh, from Malaysia, Indonesia, from India, to, and sorry, excuse me, Chinese, Chinese with this type of uh, eyes. <laughs> Asian. No, I'm just saying, you know, just balance the movies out a little bit. Like, just have some of the evil shit that black people say about white people. You know, when, when we're not around, you know, like, like, well, what are some good examples, you know? You know, like, you know what I mean? You're hanging out, you had a rough day, you know? What are some of the classics, you know? What... He has interview with black, black person? Uh, like a viewer. Viewer uh, was black. Smell like wet dogs, right? <laughs> you got head lice or something like that, right? Just, just slip some of that shit in there. Get out of the pool! Wash your hair, motherfucker! Brian, just <laughs> make it seem a little more... Balanced. Dude, I'm just saying, it's all the way down to swimming. I mean, where the fuck do you go from there? We do, like, ping pong? <laughs> they were the first all-black ping pong team. They're gonna steal the paddles. Denzel Washington. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter's not playing ping pong! You got to go out there and show the white man your bed, ping-pong. <laughs> it means that if you have a daughter, daughter, yes, and uh, your daughter is white, and the daughter will try to play with a black person, parent will say, oh, no, 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 we will not play. <laughs> Ping pong, we uh, ping pong today because it is not good game. And uh, if you want to play a good game, let's play it with this white person, and it will be a really good game. Yes, I understood it. No, I'm not. I'm not saying. Uh, I'm not saying. What? What is it? What? What's the expression? I don't know. It's always just weird bringing this shit up. But no, I'm not saying white people aren't evil either. Because I know. Okay, we're... need to Google. I'm not saying he said it again. I'm not saying meaning. I used to, I'm not saying but I used used as polite or humorous way of making a comment or criticism. I'm not saying it was your fault. I just think you could have checked. I'm not saying it's perfect, but it's pretty close. It means that uh, you are trying Ah it's polite or humorous way or making a comment. I'm not saying that uh, black people bad. Yes. I'm not saying white people aren't evil either. I got that evil in me. I do, I can, so I can feel it. That's why I try to suppress it. I try to dress casual, you know what I mean? I'm serious, man. I tried a suit on the other day. I felt it coming up like, fuck, man. I want to take over some shit, right? <laughs> I want to start telling people what to do. I want to go pollute a lake, blame it on my secretary, you know? 
he's funny. Dude, I don't even like those movies when they make black and white people get along, man. You... Don't even make black and white people get along, man. And those ones seem ridiculous, you know, because it always has to be like some sort of lesson in those movies. Just like, you know, I never looked at it that way. <laughs> and it's like that never happens, you know? Anytime I've ever hung out with a black dude, at no point during the evening is he like... Ah, he was doing an example with movie when you can find a black and white person and this movie about black person and uh, uh, about black person and you should think about this movie like, oh, I didn't think this way. Yes? This, he said it or not? Just like, you know, I never looked at it that way. <laughs> One moment like again. That. Dude, I don't even like those movies when they make black and white people. Those movies when they make black and white people. Get along, people. man. Even those. Man, even. Ones seem ridiculous, you know, because it always has to be like some. You know, because it always has to be. Sort of lesson in those movies. Just like, you know, I never ah, looked mm -hmm. at it that way. I just did that. <laughs> it's like that never happens, you know? Anytime I've ever hung out with a black dude, at no point during the evening is he like try to like teach me how to dance, you know? <laughs> You know that interracial footloose moment they always have to have? Them? Or maybe how, how to rap. <laughs> Those movies. And I never go to his neighborhood and like try to like save a school, you know? How many times are they gonna make that movie? You know that movie? The white person goes into the projects. They just have to make a difference. You know, they just made that movie again with, uh, what was it, Hilary Swank? It's like, did you even need to go see it? It's like, he, let me guess, she shows know. up and they don't accept her, right? <laughs> and she goes home, she cries to her effeminate boyfriend who's wearing sweatpants and he's cooking something for some reason, right? <laughs> and he convinces her, he convinces her to give it one more chance, right? <laughs> so then she goes back down there, she starts drawing out their inner beauty. Next thing you know, they put a do-rag on her, she starts fucking dancing. <laughs> and it's just embarrassing for all races involved. For the love of God, stop making that fucking movie. Dude, the amount of times they made that movie, I would think I would know somebody white who actually did that shit, you know? Just be like, ah, that's Mike, yeah, he saves ghettos. That's what he does, you know? I sit around, I watch Sports Center, you know, he's in the projects every weekend. Just writing his name on the blackboard, my name's Mr. Michael, all right, who threw that? Who threw that? It's just annoying after a while, you know? And it always fucking works out, too. Anytime the white person goes down there, I want to make that, I want to see a movie where it doesn't work out. Like the white dude goes down there the first day, just gets the shit kicked out of him, you know? <laughs> just leaving all negative. You can't fucking help these people, you know? You go down there, you try to do something nice, I couldn't get a goddamn word in. It's a three and all prescription. <laughs> I didn't catch the last joke, but I... Uh... I understood whole video that uh, it was talk. I understood that about dancing, that uh, black people always uh, dance uh, good. But uh, I did understand last joke about Michael, Mr. Michael. You can help me in the comment section below, by the way. And I understood whole uh, this storytelling. Storytelling was about uh, white people and uh, black people, that uh, we have different skins, uh, chocolate, Chocolate, yes. And it is not only black people, it was about Indians too, about uh, Arabic, uh, different kind of. And it was about comparing that uh, that if a white person will say something not good for, uh, for a black person, it will be really the biggest guilt of uh, ever whatever ha have been on earth yes and if a black person will say something to white it will be huh, it is like a joke and uh, uh, he said about balance that uh, why black people can speak in this way when uh, white people can't to do this Yes, it was interesting thought from this uh, story. And it was funny in some moments, uh, yeah, I want to say. And thanks a lot for watching. Ho hope you enjoyed. If you did, uh, thanks. The most interesting joke was about Indian, about uh, s 
from another country. It's like, uh, oh, you have nice... Uh, what is it? This uh, foot, foot shoes. Yes, <laughs> foot loose, foot loose. Dun, dun. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Be strong and be, be always uh, kind to people.